everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ali I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe so today I wanted to create a Halloween themed bracelet design and I want to use my Jack Skellington charm that I got a couple of years ago and some other charms that I have that I feel uh, work for the Halloween uh, design a few weeks ago, I had hauled this Jack and Sally charm and this cute little glow-in-the-dark pumpkin charm and had come up with this quick uh, bracelet design and I really do love it, but I want to use this Jack and Sally charm on this new design that I'm going to create because I want to use it with the Jack Skellington dangle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this out. I'm going to put um, either this little pumpkin charm in place of that or maybe a uh, skeleton girl. I'm going to use one of these and uh, change that one out and then use that um, in this new design. So let me do that quickly and uh, show that to you. So this is what it looks like with Skeleton Girl in the middle. I debated doing the pumpkin and have all three pumpkins, but I like this little dangly uh, look because of Skeleton Girl, and so that's why I went with her. I love, love the little bow on her head, her inverted heart nose, and the um, hearts in her eyes. It's a very, very cute charm, and I think it works really well on this mini design. So there's that one. Now I have the Jack and Sally charm and the other charms that I have to work with are these. So I just picked up charms that I was not using on permanent designs and I thought would work on um, a Halloween themed design and this is what I have. And so um, yeah, and then I have these ribbon clips which I recently hauled and as I said these look like mummy wrappings to me so I thought these would be perfect for this Halloween design and then the bracelet I have is this one and this is the mini barrel clasp I think that's what it's called I don't really remember and so that's what I'm using because this one was free and didn't have a design on it so let me put this um angle here so we have some space to work with so i know that my clips will go on the clip station so that's there and i do know that i want my jack and sally charm in the middle or you know uh in the middle section of the bracelet and so let me take these charms off the rod and kind of see where I want things to go. So I'm thinking if I put the Jack and Sally charm in the middle and then put the Sunset Piranos on either side and then put the Jack Skellington dangle on one side and the Crescent Moon dangle on the other side, that could be my um, middle section and then I have these uh, white Moranos um, that could go next to the clips and then maybe the pumpkin and I don't have anything to balance the pumpkin with though. So let me see if I take this, okay let me just start fresh. So I have one of these Moranos and this just feels very, very Halloween to me. So if I put that in the middle and then put the pumpkin, because he kind of looks like Jack Skellington, who's the pumpkin king, and then this one over here. So that balances out. And then I put these on either side. Um, and then the Moranos, maybe? Let me see how that looks. Let me put it, start putting things on a bracelet and then see how that looks. 
Okay, so I changed it up a bit. I'm trying it on a rod because I just hate <laughs> screwing and unscrewing charms. So this is what I'm working with. So what I did was I put this black and white Murano in the middle and then I put these gold Trinity spacers next to it. And then I have the pumpkin charm and the Jack and Sally charm on either side. And then I have the Jack Skeleton Dangle and the... um. The crescent moon dangle on each side and I think this would be my centerpiece and then I think I like that and then if I put the clips next to that and then next to the clips I'll do the sunset Muranos and then maybe I'll do these um, open work charms these are the sun moon and star open work charms if i do that and then maybe these moranos the white ones and then i have these two which i really like the colors uh it picks up the yellow in the um in the spacers and in the sunset Muranos and even in the yellow in the Jack Skellington. So if I put those on either side, now do I want to use these enamel glitter charms? Um, I don't know. I probably don't want to use those. So I think this is going to be my design. I think I'm happy with that. So let me put all of that on a bracelet and see how that looks. So this is what the bracelet is looking like so far as you can see my centerpiece I think it looks really nice with the dangles and the hint of yellow and black and white and yeah I do like that so and then this side I have the two Muranos I have the open work sun moon and star charm and then I have the radiant grains I think it's called and then this clip here, I need to put another clip and then put the rest of the charms on here. So let me do that and then I'll show you the finished design. So this is what it looks like now and I do think I really like that. There's movement because it's not completely full. I do not have an extra safety chain so I'm thinking I'll just put clips at the ends on both ends and that way my bracelet is secure and then I think I like this this design. What do you think? This is what it looks like with the radiant greens and all these charms. I do really like this. Let me put the end clips on and then I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist and then stacked with this one. So this is what it looks like stacked on my wrist with the bangle design. I I do really love this. I love how it turned out. I added these clips on here um, and yeah, they hold the bracelet together. Now this one with the small clasp, I feel it runs small because the clasp is so small. So when I do wear this bracelet, I don't like to fill it up completely. And um, so it's perfect for this design where there's some space and there's some movement and it's not a completely full bracelet. So that's what it looks like and I really like it. Let me give you a closer look and more detailed look at all the charms that I have on this bracelet. So here it is. As I said, I really love this. I love the different colors. There's color, there's black and white and um, so yeah, all of the charms I think work really well together. I love, love the new Jack and Sally charm. I love the little touch of gold and um the black and white as i said and all these colors in the sunset murano they work so so well on this design and then as i said the black and white really balances out all the colors and so yeah this is my halloween design my pandora halloween design for this year and i think it works really well with my little bangle design um, and I do think uh, Skeleton Girl, just because of the little dangly body of hers, works really well as a centerpiece on this bangle design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. 
and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye.